In this video, I'm gonna show you how to make custom shirt textures for Inklings and Octolings. So no downloading it from the workshop or anything, I'm talking about making your own textures. So first, we're gonna need a shirt, so add one. So let's search for Splatoon shirt, and I'm gonna go with this one. Long sleeved shirts, layered T female. So we can change skin by setting the skin here. I probably want this one. I wanna modify this one. So what we're gonna do first is right click and add override materials. Then go to show an element viewer and model. Then expand materials and go to the shirt. Since it was the last skin, it's probably this one. So here's the path where you can find the, the texture. So basically we're gonna go here in the, in the folder. So go to Steam, Steam Maps and all that stuff. Common, Source Filmmaker, Game, Workshop, Materials. Scroll down to there, Models. Props, Splatoon, Gear, Clothing. Here, Layered T Female, this one, Zinc Layered uh, ls i think it's i think it says uh, so what we're gonna do now is make a copy of it and just put it on your desktop you see mine has an icon which is vtf edit and that is a program we need to use so we need to download it and uh, here it is i'll leave the link in the description what you need to do now is open up vtf edit and just uh, drag it in uh, and to make it as simple as possible uh, we're just gonna uh, press Control c to copy the, the texture. I forgot to mention, you also need Paint.net, Photoshop, Gimp or any other photo editing program to do this. And then just paste it in by pressing Control v and just crop it. And there we go. So now we can modify it and do whatever we want. I have a little Kirby drawing here I'm gonna put on. So now I'm gonna just save it, so file and save as. Make sure you save it as a PNG or JPEG or whatever. I'm just gonna name it Kirby Shirt. There you go, and here we have it. And now all we need to do is uh, go here, file and import. Then locate it here, Kirby Shirt, and just click OK. <laughs> and there we have it. And then go to file again and save as. And then name it whatever you want again, so Kirby shirt here we have it and now we're gonna add it to sfm go back to steam Steam maps common whatever source filmmaker game now we need to store it somewhere and it doesn't really matter but i would suggest uh, storing it in a folder where you can easily find it and where i have put my folder is in user mod uh materials uh models and here i just i just named it fell over so you can just uh, put a folder here and name it whatever you want but i'm just i'm just gonna put it in my folder here and then i'm just gonna drag in Kirby shirt here. And I don't even think you have to restart SFM. You might have to, but if you run into any issues, then try restarting it. But you shouldn't have to do it at least. But anyway, uh, we're gonna we're gonna right click on this and uh, add attribute and pick string. Then type in dollar sign base texture. So it becomes blank. And here we're gonna put in the new texture and we're gonna type in the location of it. So we're gonna type in models Oliver and what it's named so Kirby shirt models backslash fell Oliver backslash uh, Kirby underscore shirt and press enter and there we have it <laughs> that wasn't that wasn't so hard <laughs> uh, okay so let's try putting it on <laughs> Okay, well, there you have it. So that's how to make custom textures for Splatoon shirts. And, uh, well, that's it for the video. That was it. So thanks so much for watching and bye.